already know why y'all clicked on the video, man, because your defense may or may not be doo-doo, but don't worry about that. Maybe it's somebody that you know. Maybe nobody's defense is doo-doo and you just want to learn how to do better rotations. I'm here for all of it, man. So before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment D down below. It's somewhere in your comment section, defense, D, whatever. That's going to do two things for y'all. At the end of the month, if we can average 8K views, we back on the road to doing that, especially with that jump shot video of last night. But I need y'all to show that raising with random some love, man. If y'all can do that for me, look, 8K views, we average that. We're going to be giving away a next-gen console or 500 bucks, or we're going to be giving away a laptop at the end of the month. We not we not really close to that, but we can get there if you guys just keep helping me out on that. That's number one. Number two, and this is the more important one, the more obtainable one. Every single Friday, we give away fifty dollars in VC cash out, or I'll buy you a copy of a game that you want, the extra regular ass edition. Uh, this week was uh, Nick Navarro. We already hooked him up, man. It is what it is. We out there, man. So look, check it out. Make sure y'all do that. Like the video and comment defense down below because that's gonna help me help the video get out to more people and all that good stuff and then we can we can actually grow the channel and all that good stuff last but not least the bots are out there make sure y'all don't listen to the bots i'm not putting my phone number down there i don't have uh i got instagram twitter and black planet i don't have telegram and my phone number not down there so make sure you y'all ignore all of that stuff down there if it doesn't come from me it's not me and without further ado Good afternoon, Lockdown University. First off, man, I want to ask y'all how y'all like this mic, man. This mic is one that I got. This is called, this mic is the, if y'all want me to do a review on it, I will. I feel a lot, I feel like it makes me sound a lot more isolated. And, and it just it works a lot better, man. This is the Logitech Blue Sona. It's an XLR mic from the people that made Blue. Logitech commissioned them to make Blue, make a mic, and that's what they did. The one thing I love about this is that I'm in this room by myself. I'm doing this. My fan is right beside me. It's on, on full blast right now. And y'all can't even hear it because this mic is super cardioid, so it just goes straight to me. But this ain't no video about the mic. This is about defensive plays and how you can stop certain stuff, bro. So this dude right here that we playing against is a fader. We already know what time it is. We're going to run this first play through, and then we're going to play it back and show y'all how it worked why it worked and how we were able to get this stop right here look at that man uh, this is all poetry and motion these are the defensive switches this is pretty much everything that you that you got and when you got i mean look 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 we're gonna run that back man and i'm probably gonna do a lot of these plays uh from the beginning but when we get to a key point we'll just, we'll just do something right so boom first rotation right here we got i'm i'm picking him up and uh brood is in the paint so you see brood in the paint right here the main thing that we want to do is what caused this was was right from the beginning when we started we started right this guy he gets the ball the first thing that i'm doing when he gets the ball i see gambit right here and then i see his man i see his man taking up all this space right here we know this guy's gonna go here and then what i want to do is i want to maintain this outside leverage and I want him to go this way because if he goes too fast, he's gonna run directly into Gambit. And then if he goes, and if he goes slow, he's gonna run into his guy or he's gonna run into Brute. Everybody's watching. So as he keeps going, he sees, well, I can't do anything. Only thing I can do is throw the slip. He throws the slip. Once he throws the slip, he tries to get back wide. I, I myself, I'm just trying to maintain the leverage out here. Boom. He goes right back down low. Brute got like, uh, like like 80 interior, something like that, like 60 interior, something like that, right? Now, this is the mistake that they made right here. This guy starts running here, and then we already got a guy. You already got a guy standing right here. So what this allows is, this allows for one man, dang, my bad on that. What this allows is, this allows one man to guard two people, because where is he gonna run but in this area right here? So I can easily cover all of this right here. This allows Gambit to make a beeline for the bucket. And then what happens? He goes up, gets the block. Now you see how close these two guys are right here? Like I could easily, it doesn't matter where he goes with the ball. If he comes here with it, I'm not really going to care. If he goes here with it, it doesn't matter. I can get to either one of those. So that's a, this, this is a dope rotation right here that Gambit made after he, after he jumped himself out of the play. He made up for it. We get the block. We don't get it back though, but at this point, everybody has expended their energy. You're gonna see me right here. Look, you saw me on the inside. I'm gonna, I right now, I'm gonna fight 
to get this outside leverage yet again because we want him going here to all this help right here. Like I said, we, we've already talked about this. I got plenty of help over here and Gambit's guys over here too. So Gambit's taking up all of that. So I definitely don't want this guy. I don't want him going this way because I got no help out there. I want to, I want him to go this way. So boom, that's what we do. Get the outside leverage. He goes exactly where I want him to go. He don't have a shot. I sit here and now this time, this time I get the uh, I get the, the, the clamps animation right there. I should have got the clamps animation the first time, but I didn't. This time you see I get clamps animation, boom. Gambit jumped himself out of the play, but that guy right there, he's already too tired. He's not gonna get it. And that's what, this is what 95 plus rebounding, I mean 93 rebounding on a lock does for you. You see this guy right here? He's, he's coming down, but look, we got all our guys here. One, two, three guys here. Normally center are gonna get that. It doesn't matter. I'm able to get the board. We get out of that play. This one right here is just another, it's just another one of those where, where look, they're gonna allow me to cover this guy and this guy. Gambit is already looking inside right here. He already looking inside, so he's definitely gonna be helping under the rim. Dude goes to the rim. He really got nowhere to go. Now I stepped down inside because I wanted to relieve Gambit. You're gonna see, you see me stepping right here. I wanted to relieve him just a little bit, but I'm poised and ready to go either way that that guy goes. That's really what I'm doing, just giving myself more space. He comes up top, look at that. He runs. Now, he gets the shot up, but I get a good jump, they give me 5%. The thing with that is, I, I myself, I wanted to just run straight here, but I know I can't because if I run straight here, what he's gonna do is he gonna come this way a little bit, then he gonna go back to the corner. So I can't do that. So I have to come, that, that, you might be wondering why I came out that side. This is the reason why I have to come out that side because I want him to go and continue to go to where my help is. He continues to go to where my help is, and then you can actually see what I did. In case he wanted to come back this way, you see how I got myself a little bit more square? So he can't come back this way. If he dribble back, he was gonna dribble straight into my chest and uh, that was gonna happen. So here we go. I know he gonna fade, get me a good jump in, get everything. That's Hall of Fame, um, Hall of Fame challenges are right there too. So, you know, it is what it is. That, I'm gonna get those stops. Right here, he thinks he got something right. Like, look, I'm pressing him up the court. I get a little bump right here. This is the one thing I hate about it. I wish we got more stone walls and stuff like that, but I didn't. But I know that if he runs like, this is something that you gotta know as a lock, right? I want this, in this situation, right, I want this middle of the floor, and I really want him to, I really want to usher him to Gambit, right? And what'll happen is, if he takes this bait right here, I'm gonna go straight to the corner and pick up his guy, or whatever. But, he, cause he's not gonna finish over Gambit. So right here, he goes in there and tries to, uh, tries to bait Gambit in or whatever. Right here, I'm still, going to sit on this outside shoulder because I want to I want to stop the outside contain but also I'm still in position to go to this corner. Gambit is just going to stand right here and sit here and sit on anything. Now, because he knows that if this guy goes, he's going to pick him up. Gambit is actually good enough to pick this guy up up top and he can take him all the way around here, but he knows that he'll have that and then you already see Brute. Brute is going to be taking away everything over here and then I will be taking away everything over there. But how it plays out, look, he did exactly what I wanted him to do. He kicked it to the corner. Now, as soon as I understand what's going to happen here, this guy's going to drive here. As soon as I understand that, he's, I'm, you're going to see me break contain, and I'm going to go to the top. Boom. Look, go to the top. Gambit is there. He throws it right there. Try to mix me up a little bit. And what did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? Look, this is what I'm responsible for right here. Brute is responsible for every, look how low Brute's sitting right there. And this guy's helping him sit that low too. Gambit is responsible for everything over here up to that hash. I'm gonna try, I would try to beat him a little bit more, but look, Brute is right there, so he can't take the shot. Now he got to throw it to Gambit's guy. He takes the shot, he hits it, but it's still a great defensive play uh, right there. We'll know what to do better next time. So the same thing right here, we got the same thing. Triangle, boom, got Brute. Now they're gonna try to, you know, they try to do some running around, and this is what Gambit is responsible for. But but then now they're gonna try to do the uh now they're trying to they're trying to do a little bit more ISO. But Brute is faster than Gambit. 
So what I want to do in most situations, I want to keep him on brute side of the court because Gambit, he can bait and go back. But sometimes this guy, he can steam that over there and the center can't get back. So I want to keep him pushed that brute side. Right here, he takes off. He just got on the rim. Now, I didn't I didn't call it out early enough, but if I have said brute, I'm sending him straight at you. What, what would have happened is Brute would have stepped over in front of that and then I would have wrapped and gone down there and then we would have got, you know, we would have got the stop. We didn't get the stop right there, but he didn't get a three. And that's the main thing right there. Right here, look at this right here, bro. This, this, is, just, this is just everybody covering for everybody. Everybody right here. Look, we are right here. We're going to go ahead and switch it, right? We, 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 I called a switch. Brute reached, but he reached himself. I, I, I understand that he reached. And I, and I say, okay, he reached himself out of the play. But this right here is a long pass, and he definitely can't make it through me. So what I do is, and we know Gambit got all this stuff over here, and we know he doesn't want to drive here. So only thing I did was bait. And then you see, as soon, as soon as I bait, I know he's going to throw that pass, right? So I get back and uh and cut off the baseline now a lot of times you would think that that cutting sitting in this area is probably the best so you can guard the baseline and you can guard here but sometimes you just can't do that so i know he's gonna try to dribble around me look at what i'm look at what i'm doing right here i know he's gonna try to dribble around me that's what that's what you want them to do you don't want to give them the baseline you want them to dribble around because right here we still got brute able to guard two people and he can do that until I get here because that's exactly where I'm going. So boom, he goes around. I make sure that he has to go around and his only route is to go through Gambit. And look at right here, boom, I'm beelining it to my guy. Now Brute is there. Look, I beelined it, but uh, now I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm actually, I'm actually just watching right now because I don't know what's gonna happen. But I do know, I do know right here that there's two people being guarded by one person. Gambit is able to guard both of those. They can't take a shot initially. Boom. Now watch as I run with him. And then I see that Gambit's going to go close out. I see Gambit going to go close out. Gambit's closing out here. I'm going to cut him off going to the rim. He tries to get him going to the rim. Look, he got, he got nothing now. Now he's out of adrenaline. And the only thing they can do is, you know, they got five seconds left. He might try to fade or something like that. Me and Brute are there. Boom. We get the contest. We get the board. We, we gone. That's what that's one thing you definitely have to do with people that like to fade, man. You have to help your guys up top, man. If you don't help your guys up top, you're going to be in some trouble. This is just a basic defensive play right here. Yet again, you know, they're running around all that good stuff. Gambit stops them going to the rim. Yet again, I know that my help is here. This is where my help is. We don't want him getting loose outside because we don't want him getting to this corner uh, so he can fade. So, boom, I step to the outside. Now, I know, I know that I got double help now. So you got Gambit right here. We got Brute right here. But whoever goes, Brute gonna go first pass. We already know Brute going first pass. So boom, he goes up there. I, geez, bro, I thought I was there on this one. I thought this was a good contest. It was a better one than the first one, but he just ended up getting it. He caught us in the rotation. Sometimes they gonna do that, man. But this, you just make the, only thing you do when they do that is you just make the right adjustment. So now, I know that I absolutely don't want him to break contain ever. And I know Brutus right here. He got this whole thing right here. They are running some type of weird stuff, man. But look, look, now I'm not letting him get outside at all. Look, I'm getting, I'm getting real bumpy with him. I'm like, nah, you're not getting outside. You're gonna have to go there. Right there, you see how slow he's moving right there? When I when I uh when I got him here and I, I said I'm gonna sit down inside, you're not coming back this way. I don't care what move you make. So now he had to end up passing the ball, and now they only got five seconds left. He got nothing. They got nothing. Desperation shot. And then they get the board somehow. Man, I'm getting so tired of that. But it doesn't matter because they really don't got nothing here. He hit a little step back. He might hit that, but, you know, he's a little bit too tired. Boom. He hits that, and we get on down the court. Now, uh, on this next play, same exact thing. Look what we look how we learned from what we were doing, bro. You see how you see how low um See how low Brute is coming? Again, this is what we got. This is Brute. This is Gambit side right here. I have to be able to stay down inside right here. And if he makes that pass, Brute gonna get back there anyway. I have to be able to stay down inside though because if I come too close to him, 
then he's just gonna bow it up, bow it around me and go to the rim. And that's gonna be hard for me to read what Gambit wants to do. And then I got, I'm facing this way. So if I'm riding him back this way, it's gonna be hard for me to get to that rotation. So we just wanna keep it outside. And look, right there, he thought he caught us in the, he thought he caught us in the joint. He went, but look, at the last second, I get beat. I see what he wants to do. He gonna wanna try to kick it to Brute's guy. I go to Brute's guy, right? Look at it, look, look, little bait inside. Boom, bait it, baited it. Hey, look, look, look. He thought he had it. He thought he had exactly what he wanted. Brute coming, Brute pursuing hard, but I fake it inside and come back out. And then look, baited it, trades up, break down. Mr. Shot, we right, we right back out there to it. And then, uh, you know, the last possession, we done learned everything that we want to, we know we pretty much learned everything that we need to learn here. This is another thing right here that me and Gambit have been working on. A lot of times people start trying to set the screen with this. If you watch the Big Dog Banner video, you know that when they set that screen, what part of the court do you want? You want your center to take the open side, I mean the uh, open corner on the screen. You want to hold the middle so he can't try to switch and try to ISO your center up top. Gambit does a phenomenal job. Of, of trapping him in the corner and then forcing him to go to the rim. He thinks he got a little bail out. He knows, look right here, he know he can't go up with that. But but he also thinks that I'm not paying attention, but I am paying attention. I'm going straight to that as soon as he does it. Boom. He does that. I push him right back at Gambit, but somehow he gets the he gets the flavor joint, bro. They didn't give Gambit no jump. But the most important thing for y'all to see out of this is, look, by the time he goes up, I and beelining toward that corner. It, it ain't got nothing, boom. He scored it, but hey, it is what it is. And then this last possession right here, 20 to uh, 20 to uh, 18, same thing right here is what I said. Look, you gonna if you're gonna let Brute guard two people by himself, then me and Gambit are essentially, we just gonna double team this guy right here. So Gambit gonna maintain outside leverage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to beat him to this inside, but then also take that away. And then if you come over here, Brute still is gonna be able to help me. So right here, boom, he tries to make the pass. Look, Gambit came and got his guy. He stifled. Now, now this dude done used up all his uh, adrenaline, so he ain't really got nothing now. And look, look at what I do yet again. I, I maintain this outside because I don't have any help. Oh, I don't have any help here. I got no help, right? Boom, no help. All of my help is here. And then Brute will be able to come up and give me a hand right there. What happens? He dribbles that way. Look, Brute is on his Brute is on his absolute horse to try to beat him to that spot so he can't fade. Look, tries to fade. It's a good fade. It's sad wide open, but even though it says wide open, bro, I don't, I think the 2K be capping sometime, bro. Like this, this is. I, I guess it is wide open, but hey, he didn't use it all up, and he know he got to take a crazy shot between me and Brute, and then we just go get on the rim for the game, man. But anyway. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. Like I said, you're not gonna stop every single thing, but this video is not about stopping everything. This video is really about showing you guys how you can become better defenders and do these rotations better. If you are the fastest guy, if you are the lock, the main thing that you wanna be, be doing is you got to know that when you know, you're the fastest one. So sometimes sit down in the middle of the court. If you end up in the middle of the court, sit down, wait until your guy's clear, and then you go to the open guy. That's one of the biggest things that y'all can do, man. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if y'all enjoy this type of content, like it. And I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Speak.